Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have three Chilean Sauvignons, one New Zealand Sauvignon, but not from the place you usually think of when you think of New Zealand Sauvignon, but we'll get on to that, put that at the end. First three I've got are from uh, from uh, Chile, uh, different bits of Chile. Uh, first two, both sit on the Colchagua Valley, uh, but they're from cool bits of the Colchagua Valley, because there are warm bits, there's places like Apalta where you, you get really good ripe Carmen air and uh, uh, big beefy, powerful, but fragrant Syrah, and uh, Cabernets aren't, uh, aren't too slouchy either. Um, but we're, we're yeah, close to the coast here. First one we've got is Yali. Um, uh, Yali Sauvignon Blanc winemaker's selection from the beautifully named Lolol Valley. Lolol is one of those words that you can't just say once, so I'll say it again. Lolol. Um, so Yali is the um, uh, is one of the labels done by Vigna Ventisquero, and um, so let's see how we get on with their 2011, weighing in at uh, just 12.5% alcohol. There's what I call a crisp greenness here, so there's the citrus fruit, uh, there's a bit of the, the um, certainly the lemons, limes, herbs in there too. Uh, a bit of the uh, maybe the leafy, the, but maybe a little bit of the gooseberry and asparagus, but it's more that uh, that taut, uh, herby citrus fruit that comes through. Smells smells like it's going to be nice, fresh summer wine. Touch of green pepper. Um, it's funny because uh, the twelve and a half percent alcohol. I thought it might be on the light side, but it feels like it's got quite a rounded core of um, generous fruit. But then when you think it might be just going a little bit too soft, there's that citrus bite that kicks in at the finish. Um, I like it. Yeah, I'm, I, I've, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with some of the Yali range, and uh, this is one of those that I'm, uh, I'm more on the loving side. So um, nice start. Let's see how we get on with the next one. So Lolo, once upon a time, was probably one of the closest places to the coast for uh, in, in Colchagua. But uh, these guys here, Casa Silva, I think they're now claiming that they are closest to the coast in a place called uh, Paradones. Um, so this is the Casa Silva Cool Coast. Paradone's Estate Sauvignon, again, 2011. And, I mean, it's, it's, it really is at very few kilometres. Um, if you're a very good spitter, you might be able... No, you'd have to be a very good spitter to get the few kilometres. Is it on the back, how far it is? I think it's like about three or four kilometres from the sea. Certainly you can see it and you can feel the, uh, uh, the cooling breezes. Let's see whether you can feel the cooling breezes coming through in the wine. Well, it's a more ambitious wine, at uh, more ambitious price, um, and uh, so you, you're getting more concentration, more depth of flavour. Uh, it's still on that green uh, feline edge here. Uh, some of the citrus, a lot of the herbs coming through, um, and um, it, whereas the, the first one felt that it was, yeah, pretty, pretty ready now, this one feels like it's still got a little bit of development, a little bit of uncoiling, uncurling to do. So there's an edge of green pepper, which I think will meld into the wine more with, um, with more time it's over or just a few more months in bottle but at the moment it smells like it's going to be sprightly and um, smells like it's going to be quite good too. I notice more smoky flinty characters going on there. Um, uh, yes there's the extra concentration and the, so there's the citrus side as well but there's more exotic maybe verging almost a little bit of the um, uh, well lilt with the totally tropical taste the, uh, uh, the grapefruit bit but tinged with the tropical edge of pineapple. So, um, uh, yeah, and as I say, uh, sprightly, but I think there's a better wine to, uh, to emerge in about three or four months' time. And um, step up from the Yali. The Yali was good. This is better. And uh, I think, well, we're, we're in early April now. I, this is almost one of those that I've been wanting to drink late summer. Late our summer, not late Chilean summer. Because um, it's late Chilean summer already. Uh, uh, let's see how we get on with the final Chilean, which is not from the Colchago, but from Leda. And it's Calitera Tributo Sauvignon Blanc, single vineyard, oh, it's another word I want to say more than once, Block Algarobo. Uh, and alcohol-wise, 13.5%, so we've gone 12.5, uh, 13, 13.5. Let's see how we get on with this one. Well, uh, we're closer to the equator now, but um, in terms of, uh, you almost have to forget uh, the influence of uh, latitude when you go to Chile. Uh, the, the things that affect the wines much more are proximity to the sea and altitude. So, uh, uh, as with the Peridones one, um, we are pretty close to the sea here, just a few kilometres, less than 10 kilometres, um, the, the vineyards will be. So you get this cooling Pacific breeze. Um, what I would say uh, about this compared with the previous two, it uh, doesn't seem to have some of that green pepper shriek that was coming through a little bit in the previous ones. Um, it does feel like it's got the cool, fresh citrus edge, some of that citrus herby bite, uh, but it feels like it's going to have a more, uh, maybe a more complete flavour. 
Very interesting contrast between those two styles. Um, you feel the extra weight here, you feel a little bit of extra ripeness coming through. Uh, it's a softer, more mellow fruit, not the citrus, maybe not the zing that there have been in the, um, in, in the, 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 the ones before. Um, but I find it as good uh, as good as the Cool Coast, maybe even that, that slight bit better. Um, and um, for, for me, I notice it's got, it seems to have more presence, more uh, flesh and weight. Am I being seduced by just that extra extra weight, extra alcohol? I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm going to taste these with some uh, uh, some people later on this evening, and it'll be interesting to see what's happened with uh, with the, with these two because I think that uh, the Cool Coast will. Uh, will uncoil a little bit, but I'll be interested to see whether the Calatera develops at the same speed and that whether it's still for me, at the moment it's just a little bit ahead uh, in quality and uh, whether, that, whether that persists or whether they almost cross over. Last wine, um, we're in New Zealand now, we're Craggy Range, Single Vineyard, Sauvignon Blanc, Timuna Road Vineyard, uh, but it's not from Marlborough, it's from Martinborough. Uh, so instead of um, top end of the uh, South Island, it's bottom end of the North Island. 13.5% uh, alcohol, let's give it a whirl. Now this is the least Jack Russell-like of, uh, of the four. What I mean by that, sometimes Sauvignon Blanc, I find it just a bit too yappy and sharp. and rah, 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 rah. Um, uh, But here it feels like a rounded, confident wine that um, isn't trying to maybe uh, assault you with those, uh, uh, with those overt, what I call the green spring-like flavours uh, that uh, seem to be in certainly the first two, a bit less in the third one. Uh, here, even less so. It feels like a rounded, uh, more, yeah, more confident, more laid-back, not trying as hard to um, to say pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, does that mean it's going to be a better wine or just a different style? Let's see. Yeah, it's quite a rich, rounded, grown-up style. Um, it has got the herbaceous notes in there, but uh, in terms of the, the flavours, um, they are uh, as with the Cool Coast. I feel that there's some, still some uncurling to do, but. Um, here it's more on the a bit of the pear, a bit of the um, um, the stone fruit, the apricots, the nectarines, um, alongside. If there's citrus there, it's on that riper citrus end, and uh, there's a touch of apple here. Um, it's almost like. Uh, there's something almost Burgundian about it. I don't know whether they've, they've done a little bit of Lee's contact or something, or whether it's, uh, uh, I noticed on the back, a bit of limestone soil, whether it's that influence coming through. But it does feel like a, um, yes, it's, it's one of the yeah, less yapping style. Um, it's phew, probably a toss-up between that and the one before, which I prefer. And I, uh, but I think that they're, they, they both have their places. Uh, it, uh, but I will be very interested to see what happens with the Cool Coast with a little bit of time uh, as the bottle opens, because it may surprise me. Um, for the moment, though, I would say it just about the, uh, the Craggy is, is my pick. But um, the others were, actually, all of them were pretty good. I, 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 I certainly wouldn't be uh, looking for a plant pot with anyone. Uh, value the Yali one and um, class the last one. See you soon.